Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. New Horizons Church family and friends. Again, this is Pastor Wiggins, and I greet you in the mighty name of our Lord and our Savior, Jesus the Christ. You know, God wants to have a rich and a real and a refreshing relationship with each and one of us, his children. And one of the ways that God does that is he obviously sent his son, Jesus Christ, into the world to die for our sins, that we might have eternal life in his name. And he said also that we might have life more abundantly. But not only does God want us to be saved, but he also wants to have a relationship with you and me. And so he lets us know who he is by telling us the names of him in the word of God. And when we realize God's names, it helps us to understand his attributes, his character, and the way he operates. And so we've been studying this month the names of God and praying those names back to God. And so today is day number five, day number five of us praying about the names of God. We've learned that God is Elohim. He is the strong, creative God. We've learned that God is El Elyon, the most high God. And we've also learned that God is Adonai. He is the Lord, the master, and the owner of everything. And so I want to continue today praying um, to the Lord as Adonai, the master, the Lord, and the owner of everything from Psalm 50 and verse 9 through 10. Psalm 50 and verse 9 through 10 from the New International Version of the Word of God says, I have no need of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. Amen. As God is addressing the psalmist and the people of God here, he's reminding us that he has no need of a bull from our stalls or goats from our pens or any other sacrifice that we give him because he reminds us that every animal in the forest belongs to him and all the cattle on a thousand hill belong to him. He is Adonai, the owner of everything, the master, the Lord. And when we relate to God, we need to remember that he is the God, the owner of everything. So today, as we pray, according to Psalm 50 and verse 9 and 10, we want to pray, number one, that we will submit ourselves as servants to the Lord, the master, the owner. And secondly, we want to pray and thank God that the Lord Adonai, that he is, in fact, owner of everything. And then thirdly and finally, we want to pray that the Lord Adonai would supply all our needs. As the owner of everything, he owns the cattle on a thousand hill. And I tell people all the time that that means if you start counting cattle on one hill, by the time you get to the second hill, you have to go back and start on the other hill because those cattle have had more ch uh, cattle themselves. And so you have to restart over again counting, meaning you can never count up everything that God owns because he owns everything. And so whenever we have a need, God is never short on being able to supply our needs. So let's pray to God today. Father, in Jesus name, we love you. We honor you. We bless and praise your holy name. God, we declare that this is the day that you have made and we are rejoicing, O oh God, and we are glad in it. God, we thank you for revealing yourself to us in the person of your son, Jesus Christ. Thank you for his death his burial, and his resurrection from the dead. Thank you that, Jesus, you are alive forevermore. Thank you that there is salvation in your name. Thank you that whenever we call upon your name, O oh God, we are saved. So we thank you for our salvation in you. And we thank you, Lord, for your relationship with us through your son, Jesus Christ. We also thank you, Lord, for revealing to us your names in your word. We thank you, Lord, that you are Adonai, Jehovah, the Lord, the master, the owner of everything. And we pray now, Lord God, and ask you to forgive us when we've not submitted ourselves to you as the owner, when we've not treated the possessions that you've allowed us to manage as if you own them, but we've treated them, God, as if they belong to us. God, forgive us when we've not managed your money correctly. God, forgive us when we've not managed the time of the days and the days that you've given us correctly. Forgive us, O oh God, when we've not managed the other resources that you supplied to us as the owner of everything. 
Lord, I pray that even as we ask and seek and receive your forgiveness, God, that we would learn to resubmit ourselves up under your mighty hand, that we would remember, God, that we are your servants and that you are the Lord. You are the master. So, Lord God, we submit ourselves up under you and we humble ourselves up under your mighty hand that in due time you would exalt us. Lord God, we pray and thank you that you are the owner of everything, that you have no need of bulls from our stalls or goats from our pens because every animal in the forest belongs to you, even a cattle, even the cattle on a thousand hills belongs to you. God, you are the owner of heaven and earth. You are the owner of everything therein. And so, God, we just praise you and thank you that everything belongs to you and that even, God, when men are uh, not understanding of that, God, you still are in control of everything and everything belongs to you. So whenever we have a need, oh, God, we know that you will supply our needs for we are your servants, God. And as we try to do your will in the earth realm, as we try to save souls, as we try to develop disciples, as we try to do ministry in your name, God, you'll supply every one of our needs. God, as we try to love our families and lead our families, you will supply every one of our needs. Lord, as we try to manage the resources that you have given to us in business and on our jobs and in our educational pursuits, Lord, when we come up short and don't have what we need, God, you are the master. God, you are our Lord. You are the owner and you shall supply, you said, all of our needs according to your riches in glory by Christ Jesus. Lord, we thank you that you are, in fact, Adonai, the Lord Jehovah, Adonai, the Lord that is the master of all and the owner of all. And so, Lord God, we thank you and praise you that all of our needs are met, that we don't have lack, God, that we'll be living in abundance and we'll learn to praise you no matter what the situation or circumstance because you are deserving of our praise from the rising of the sun and to the going down of the same at all times and in all places and for all things, God, you are worthy of our praise. So we bless you and we praise you today. We glorify and magnify you. We lift you up and we say hallelujah to your name. We thank and bless and praise you for it. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Amen. Again, today we prayed uh, to Jehovah Adonai, the Lord, the master, the owner of everything. According to Psalm 50, verse 9 and 10, I have no need of a bull from your stall or goats from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. God is the owner of everything. And so go in the assurance that as his servant, he will supply every one of your needs. I'll be back to pray with you again tomorrow. We'll be back. God bless.